Welcome to our lesson about starting a route via the drag and drop method. In this method, we're going to create a similar route to our last tutorial, but we're going to start it in a different way. Let's insert an assembly document for starters. Assembly, OK. And let's browse for a part. I'll choose part 92 and click open. Let's drop it about here. You'll recognize this part from our last lesson. Now let's go to the tubing tab and select start by drag slash drop. Let's expand the tubing folder in the library. Select the flange. Let's grab and drop it right here. Select a configuration, 1-150, OK. SolidWorks prompts us to save the assembly. Yes, we do. Let's call it 92 and click Save. The Route Property Manager opens. Let's select the configuration with a wall thickness of a quarter inch. Bend radius, let's leave it at one inch and click OK. SolidWorks creates a stub. As you see, I'm in the 3D sketch environment. Let's grab and drop the flange component on the second hole. We'll select the same component, 1-150, and click OK, and exit Insert Components. Now we need to connect these two stubs. Let's go to the Sketch tab, activate the Line tool. We'll drop a line about here. We'll tab to change line directions. Tab again. And let's right click and select to close the tool. Now let's shift select these two points, add a merge relation. Next, we can apply dimensions to our sketch. OK. And let's exit the sketch. As you see in our Feature Manager tree, the subassembly has been created. In the Component folder are my flanges. In other words, the flanges, this time, are located inside the flange subassembly. Once again, to edit the route, just right-click on the sketch and select Edit Route. Now I can adjust the sketch points as needed. Exit. And this concludes our lesson about starting a route using the drag and drop method.